Peace, this is Terrain. I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to do a video on how to esoterically plan out your year through ritual, through uh, meditation, through intentions. I'm going to give you some really good tips. I'm going to give you some um, money rituals. Okay, um, I'm going to show you how to properly map out your year. I'm doing this video because we are coming to the end of 2015 according to the Gregorian calendar. And we're coming into the new year. Okay, and I'm doing this video because many of us, we go into the new year and we just go with the flow. And because we don't properly plan through the sciences that we know, we don't maximize off of our year and we can maximize off of our year know what we're looking at and have a detailed plan on how to get through the year okay so i'm going to give you some tips so one divination okay you gotta have a divination reader whether it is astrology or whether you have a really good diviner that can properly read tarot you want an overview of the year okay you want the universe to show you or you want to use one of these sciences that we have like astrology to show you what you looking at your forecast okay and then after you see the forecast you will know how to move, okay? Some of you are coming into some really powerful years, okay? Some of you are coming into what we call peak years, okay? Some of you are coming into some hardships. And the thing is to be prepared or to move the right way, right? If you're coming into a peak year or if you're coming into your prime year or your prime set of years, that's the year in, in which everything you're trying to do is going to work. And if you know that ahead of time, you will be motivated to move a certain way. Some of us are going to go through certain hardships, right? And we will know how to buckle down for those hardships, okay? Some of us are not going to necessarily have a good financial year. And if we properly plan how to get through that year, there will be a much greater outcome. Okay, so divination, whether you're getting your astrology chart read or you're getting uh, tarot, any oracle deck, I Ching, you got to get some form of divination by a really good reader. Okay, uh, the second thing, all right, write down your intentions for the entire year. Take a few days to do this. Take your time. You want to be full of detail. Get some parchment paper or Egyptian papyrus. Okay. Um, I will use old-fashioned ink or regular ink. It doesn't matter. But you want to vividly um, observe your year. Okay. You want to pretty much create your year in your head, you want to take your time and you want to write out exactly how you want it to go. Okay, hold on to that paper and then look at it in January, next January. Okay, that will work. Okay, make a list of everything you want to accomplish for the year. Again, either papyrus or parchment paper. Any kind of ink, all right? And write every single thing that you want for that year down, okay? Throughout the year, the things that you have accomplished on that list, check them off. You will be surprised at how far you will come in doing this, okay? The third thing, if you don't already have a journal, that's cool. You want a journal for the year, you want a journal for 2016, okay? Uh, you need to chart, okay, 
it's a scientific fact that 84% of the people that chart out the things that they want when it comes to business, when they write these things down, they actually see the success because this is magic, okay? This is esoteric science. It works most of the time. It's not a bad idea to do that, okay? Um, now, I want to get to some certain money rituals, right? Um, you want to invest in a baby pine tree or a money tree. It doesn't matter. Baby pine tree or money tree. Both trees have, uh, give off the vibration of money. Okay. Both are known for this. Okay. And you want to get some clear quartz crystals, brand new. See, this tree needs, the trees need to be new. The crystal needs to be new. Clear quartz and citrine okay and you want to clean off the citrine or the clear in the clear quartz you want to program it by meditating your intentions into it and sleeping with it under your pillow all right now these this quartz in the citrine you, the intentions you're going to put on it is going to be specific to money that's it okay and you're going to put these crystals in the the pine tree or the money tree okay it doesn't matter how long you put you take to put these intentions in but you know really marinate your intentions to these crystals put them into the tree leave them in the tree charge the tree and the crystals every seven days in sunlight, okay? And you will reap the benefits. So that's one money ritual, okay? Another one, okay? Take your money out the bank or the money that you already have, the cash that you already have. You need the cash, okay? You need the cash. And you want to anoint it with an essential oil that we call penny royal okay every single dollar bill you want to anoint with penny royal you rub it all over the dollar bill and every single dollar bill you put your intentions into you want to do that now those dollars that you anoint you spend if you spend them the right way they will get you more dollars okay very good trick. The third thing is not necessarily a money ritual, but it is, okay? You want to rearrange your home, your room. You want to throw away old things. You want to bring in new things. You want to discard old friends that are not on your vibration. Go through your phone book, delete, go into your social media profiles. And if you notice someone has the stagnant energy remove them okay this is feng shui okay this is this is money feng shui it works okay um another thing you want to do you want to okay we have until january 1st to do this right you want to chant a money mantra okay om shreem right a raw vibrational on money mantra either om shreem or om brazi okay and you want to do that for the entire day you want to chant your head all day all day you can take breaks but all day do this for at least one of those days and prior to your chanting have the intention of that vibration extending out for your entire year Okay, the time to plan for 2016 is now. Organization is everything. Okay, um, intentions are everything. A vivid plan is everything. Okay, you want to properly see what you're looking at. You want to properly execute. So set up those avenues. That's all I got for you today. You know where to find me. 
royalbloodline7.com, 7sagemetaphysics.com. Like this video, subscribe, share it, share this. And if you want to read it from me, inbox me and I'll hook you up if I'm not too busy.